guarantees uh, plenty of action and close racing from these Division 2 drivers. Tolimars gets a push here by Magnus Hansen, and you can see the result. It really is uh, rough and tumble at this level as well. So we've got Perez, number 155, in the lead there. He's in front of 192, who's Benazé. And then we've got Vestergaard from Denmark. So two French drivers in the lead here on home territory. And uh, not unduly worried about that little contretemps that coming together just off the uh, start there. So our next heat, also from Division 2, we've got our onboard camera with Ronnie Schevenels. And they're all lined up for the start. There go the lights. Schevenel gets a really bad start. They all roar away in front of him. And his hand goes up in despair as the whole field goes past him. And with the fight for the lead out the front there is between Poiret and Bozacek. And there's plenty going on back down the field as well. I think Poiret is about to make a move. And you can see he's faking to the left and faking to the right. And through he goes. But uh, Bocek isn't giving up, he goes wide, he had a bit too much speed coming into that corner and Bocek takes it back again. On board now in Skevenholz, working his way through the field. But it's all a bit rough and tumble for him, he has to go and take his speed off, go really wide and the field are coming straight through past him again. So Skevenholz has got Kalni in front of him and this is where the battle is now at this part of the race. And he's certainly being aggressive enough, Skevenholz. But County seemed to have all of the answers. And you can see uh, how much gradient there is on this circuit too. Down the hill and using the extra speed to try and take him past. If he can hang onto this line through. And uh, a bit of a kamikaze manoeuvre there, but he, it pays off and he goes through at last. So it's paid off. Kalni accelerating away again, eyeing up his next quarry in front. And here we say on board with Skevenels again. Still angry after his poor start and still trying to squeeze his VW through impossible gaps. But he's made up two places there in just the last lap. So he's having an impact on this one. Check a flag, then goes out to Fuare, who takes it in the Megan. It's his first win. This morning, the start, had I the first time the wall start for the Then we had to start again. But I didn't see the light in the sky. The French were already gone. The French were on the top of the wall, and they were going further. We had to go back and have another third time to ride. So that was all well enough to fall. I just want everything to set to the end of the bocht. Then we'll see. Normally, I'm going to go to the front and try to go to the fourth and above. The front to go. I'm going to go to the top. Normaal moet je ze daar boven kunnen pakken. Is het niet zijn zij vlugger weet, dan kan ik direct naar de lijn naar binnen gaan en proberen die twee Fransmannen te volgen. Maar zij doen toch niet meer aan het Europees kampioenschap, dus kan ik de derde plaats proberen te pakken. Zo so de final underway with Skevenels getting a good start now. He seems to have got the feel of this circuit. And Poiré is right behind him. Now then, Poiré obviously getting cheers from the crowd. Skevenels trying to hold him off and trying not to get into problems. But he's sticking to him like a leech as Skevenels lifts an inside wheel. 
And, oh, he's making a massive move past him. Oh, I don't know where he got the extra speed from, or maybe the golfer's got a problem somewhere down the line there. But certainly, that contest changed complexion in the blink of an eyelid. And Poiré just went through. On board, we can take a look at that overtaking manoeuvre. And it looks as if, yeah, Chevenel's has got a problem with the gearbox. And that just allows Poiré to just blast through. And that's the difference missing a gear can be. So he's trying to hang on behind the Megan, but the Megan looks as if it's a better setup than the VW, I have to say, and is running very nicely here at the moment. Once again, over-breaking Skevenals and losing all of his momentum out of that chicane. And he's got the look of a winner, hasn't he? Poiret, the crowd are cheering him on. And he crosses the line, winning the Division 2A final.